we went back and saw the beginning of the FNAF story with William, with Henry, and we even saw the backstory of Michael Afton and what drove William Afton to do all the horrible things he did. But now it's time to go back in to the stories and we're going to learn more about Jeremy. This game is called FNAF Story Game Jeremy Story. This is made by the same creators of the other games that we've played, the other story games. And we're just going to go through the story. I'm going to be reading it along with you guys. I'm going to be voicing some of the characters and giving them uh, interesting voices, to say the least. But anyway, let's not waste any time. Let's turn Sprint on. Hurricane, Utah, 1987. Yay! We're finally here! Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria! Whoa, this place is so cool! When will my friends be here? I'm sure they will be here soon. Oh, there they are now! Hi, guys! Er, hi, guys! Happy birthday. Hello. I'm so excited that the party is actually today. I'm gonna get you kids a pizza. Just wait here. Don't go anywhere. Okay, Mom. These animatronics are so cool. Yeah, you're right. Which one is your favorite? Mine's Freddy. Mine is Bonnie. Mine is Chica. Oh, who is that? That's, uh, I don't think that's one of the kids. Oh, I want cake. Hello there. I have some cake. Follow me. Oh, I want cake. Follow the stranger into the back room. Nothing possibly bad could happen here. Oh, they're still following him. What are you doing? Don't do it. Oh, no. What is that? What is he doing? The next day. Uh, the police were called. What am I doing here? Wait, what am, what am I doing? Am I... That, that's definitely me. What in the world? All right. What's the problem? Oh, that's a lot. It was my son's birthday party. He invited all of his friends, too. I went to get pizza, and I told them not to go anywhere. But when I came back, they were gone. Hmm. I see. Are these others parents? Are these, are these others parents of the other kids? Yes. So you sure you didn't see anything? I'm sure. There is a weird knight standing in the corner, though. I don't really know what he's doing here. Well, I guess I'll just have to ask the witnesses. Oh, wait, he's actually talking to me. You, sir, did you see anything? Uh, yes, actually, I did. I saw some yellow... Uh, some yellow rabbit lured them down that hallway over there. Really? What else did you see? Not much, but what I do know is I never saw anyone come out. Not the kids or the rabbit. Did you see anything else come out? Also, why didn't you do anything? Why were you just standing there, you weirdo? No, I, I, I left the building before I saw anything come out. All right, thanks for the information. I better check it out. Oh, and one more thing. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> what, what a bad time to promote. What a bad time to promote the moms in the back. Like, my children are missing. And I'm like, hey, subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> well, this was the hall. Nothing unusual here. Wait, maybe there's something in this room. Oh, wow, there's a... Those things are creepy. There's uh, some withered animatronics in this room. Are those the kids? Are they in the animatronics? What did William do? Well, seems to be nothing here. Guess I'll head back out and report to the station. A few days later. Oh, come on. Is anywhere hiring? This seems really reminiscent of the Michael Afton story. I've been watching this TV for hours and I can't find anything. Ding dong. I wonder who that is. Hmm. It's a newspaper. I wonder what it is about today. Wait, is that a... Help Wanted. Grand Reopening. Vintage Pizzeria, come be a part of the new face. What could go wrong? $100.50 a week. You'll be ro rolling in the dough. A job, yes. I'm in. I mean, what could go wrong? Later, every single thing possible went wrong, Jeremy. Every single thing. Well, here I am. 
Hey, you must be Jeremy Fitzgerald, am I correct? Yes, that's me. Great! Just follow me and I'll show you to your office! Okay. Hmm, weird animatronics. I sure hope they don't come alive and eat me. Here is your office. So, uh, before you start, you'll need this flashlight. And this empty Freddy head. Well, sir, that's, uh, why would I need an empty Freddy head? Oh, you'll see. If you don't have it on at the perfect time, they'll eat you. Ha ha ha. Uh, well, uh, I think that's it. Uh, get changed into your outfit and then listen to the recorded message at 12. Meanwhile, at 12 a.m. Well, it's 12. I guess there's going to be a message or something. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, there it is. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, hello, and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk to you through about some things that you can expect to see during your first week here, and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Ah, oh, it's just a bunch of boring stuff. I'll just check the cameras. That's a camera sound. Uh, nothing's going on there. Everything's good. Ugh, balloon boy's here. Oh, no. What the heck is that thing? Static. That's what Mangle says, static. Those things are creepy. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. What conditions? Uh, we switched him over to the day shift, so hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night, and even attempted to get in his office. What?! Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. Uh, except not at all, actually. I'm just lying to you. This has to be some prank, right? No, this is not a prank. You're probably gonna die here, Jeremy. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room, so they tr go try to find where the people are. In this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So, just once every, every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Oh, I see. I better wind it up. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution, you see. There may be a minor glitch in the system. Something about robots seeing you as an exoskeleton without his costume on and wanting you to stuff you in a suit. Wait, I never heard about that. Uh, actually, you did when he gave you the empty mask. Uh, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, everything that wandered in will wander back out. Oh, that's what that's for. Why is he so understanding? Don't be this understanding. They're gonna kill you. Uh, something else worth uh, mentioning is kind of the modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> but hey, you have a light. It'll protect you, I swear. And even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights. Put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Okay, I should check the cameras. Oh boy, there's two missing already. Oh no, only Freddy. Where are the others? Clank, clank, clank. Uh-oh. What do I do? What do I do? Clank intensifies. The mask! Clank, clank, clank. Strange sound. Oh, it's Toy Bonnie. Well, luckily I have the, the mask on, so it's everything's fine. Good, it's gone. Wait, the prize corner. Winds up box. That's the sound of winding up box. Strange sound. Ah, the mask! Ooh, that was a close one. Did I make it? Oh, wow, that was so close. I might actually make it through the night. Clank, clank, clank. Oh, no. Oh, wait, the mask. Oh, no, another one? There's so many clanks going on. 
Now the prize corner? I'm dead. 6 a.m. Yes, I did it! I survived! Now I have a few questions I want to ask about that phone idiot. Oh, uh, hey! How did your, uh, night go? You... Terrible! Those animatronics tried to kill me! Whoa, calm down! Did you not get my message? I got that message, all right. But that doesn't explain how it happened. This isn't normal! I already told you, our engineers don't really have a proper explanation, and... Now, listen up, phonehead. I want a proper explanation. I'm tired of these lies, and I'm sick also. Well, we let them free roam around during the day, so maybe they got confused, or, uh, like, like I said. When I went to... When I go to Chuck E. Cheese's, the animatronics don't try to kill me and stuff me in a suit, so why do they do it here? All right, now, stop bringing up stuff that's in... Uh, out of universe. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese does not exist here. Stop complaining. You already heard what happened to the first guy. Is that, is that a threat? But why would they try to kill me? As I said, there's a glitch in their system. Now, do you want to be sent over to the day shift? Yes, very much so. Maybe I should. It might be better that way. Well, uh, make sure you come back tonight. Meanwhile, at Jeremy's house. I can't believe it. That was definitely the worst job ever. And I am not going back. But I really do need that $100 a week. Fine, I have no other choice. I'm going back to risk my life the next night. I can't believe I'm back. Ring, ring, ring. Oh no, not that idiot. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, see, I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. You're a natural. Uh, but now I'm sure you've noticed the older model sitting in the back room. Uh, those are from the previous location. We just use them for parts now. Yeah, I have. The idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they even started uh, re retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. But they were just so ugly, you know? Wait, why is he talking about these? Don't tell me they'll move at night, too. The smell. Uh, so the company decided to go in a whole new direction and make them super kid-friendly. Uh, and those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around, but if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them too, so, well, whatever. Great. Oh, come on already? Uh, I love those old characters. Did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, oh yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey, listen, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Oh, no. If for some reason he activates during the night and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, just flash a light at him from time to time. Good. There's a way to stop him too. Good? What do you mean good? There's nothing good about this. The older models would always get disoriented with bright lights. It would cause a system restart or something. I don't know. Just shut up already. You're wasting my time. Winds up box. Oh, crap. The clanking. It's continuing. The clanking won't stop. We got Toy Bonnie. I'm still alive. I should check the hallway. Oh no. Foxy's in the hallway. Good. The light stopped him. Hello. Oh, that's Balloon Boy. I can't do a Balloon Boy voice. Hello? Who's that? I wonder if someone moved the cameras. Oh no. Where's that balloon kid? Oh no. Now the other fox is gone. Now the prize corner too? Oh, that's where the fox went. On the roof. Of course. That's the last place I would have expected it to be. Crawling on the ceiling. I should check for Foxy. He's still there. The clanking's continuing. Foxy's in the hallway. Mangle's on the roof. What am I gonna do? Why did I come back? At least he won't come back for a night three, right? He's definitely learned his lesson. Why do things have to be so hard? Uh-oh. That's, uh, that's not looking too good for you, Chief. Wait. Two of them? I've never seen two in the hall before. Anyway. Good. So far, none of the other old models have moved. Okay, uh, the mask. And the prize corner? What do I do? I'll go with the prize corner. Hopefully it won't come out of the vents while I'm winding the box. That's your final mistake, Jeremy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I like how they added that. Just so I can, like, hang over the ceiling. I made a bad choice. Now it's waiting there to attack me at any second. 
How could things get any worse? Clank, clank, clank. I spoke too soon. I've got to put the mask on fast. Ha 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 ha. I'm balloon boy. Ha ha ha. No, I'm dead. Hey, maybe this kid isn't too bad. Oh, wait, never mind. I can't use my flashlight. Well, goodbye, world. 6 a.m. No way. That was way too close. No way. Wait, what? You just said that. Well, I guess I'll just head home. Later, at Jeremy's house. That was crazy! Thank God I survived that night. And I think I might be getting used to it. I guess I better head back tomorrow for night three. No, absolutely not. Uh, let, me, let me pause the story here real quick. If this ever happens to you and you go back for a second night, don't go back for a third night. What are you doing? He just said how he barely survived and he goes back in for a third night. The next night at 12 a.m. Night three. I can't believe I came back here. Me either. Shut up. I don't have time for your calls. I already know what to do. Should have listened to the call. Oh, geez. That box is going down fast. Winds up box. Static. I should check the hallway. Fox is there already? Oh, no. Not him again. And Balloon Boy too. Should I check the cameras? No, I'll check the hallway first. Ah! Withered Bonnie, the coolest animatronic. That's not Foxy. That's Freddy. No, no, don't tell me that. Uh-oh. They're all gone except him. No! The old ones move now. Is it one of the old ones? Oh, it's just Toy Bonnie. Everything's fine. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Really? The box again? I just did it. Winds up box. I should check the hall again. Uh-oh. If night three is this hard, I don't even want to think about night five. How do you know about five nights? How do you know about five nights of Freddy's? No way. I just put on the mask. I got to check the music box quickly. 6 a.m. Yes, night three completed. I guess I should head home and get some rest. Later, Jeremy's house. Things are just getting way too hard. How is night four going to be? And then night five? I really don't want to come back, but since I'm already halfway into the week, I will. No, terrible idea. And I am only doing this for the money. Night 4, 12 a.m. Okay, only two more nights to go. I've got this. Winds up box. Uh, spoiler alert, I don't think he's got this. It's Balloon Boy again saying hello. Clank, clank, clank. So many clanks going off. Mangle and Foxy are waiting. They're gone, winding up the box again. More clanks in the vents. It's over. There's no way. Oh no, it's that withered Freddy. I bet the mask will work once he comes in here. How do you know that's withered Freddy? He never told you their names. How do you know it's withered? Uh, the mask. Oh, that was a close one. Hey, that's what I said. I've never seen one of those old ones up so close. They really stink. They almost smell like a corpse or something. Oh, crap. Boxer mask. You chose wrong. I better wind the box quickly. Oh, no. The cat's out of the box. I'm so dead. It's probably coming towards my office now in 6 a.m. So close. I really thought I was going to die that time. I guess I should head home and prepare for the final night. Later, at Jeremy's house again. I can't believe it's here already. Tomorrow night is my last night. I'll just need to make it through the night, and I'm done. And, I mean, how much harder could night five be? You're a fool, Jeremy. How could you say something so foolish? Night five. It's the final night. I just gotta survive, and then I'll finally get paid my $100. Winds up music box. They're both there immediately. Winds it up again. Mangle's gone, but Foxy's still there. A bunch of clanking in the left vent. Oh, so far so good. Winding up the box. Oh my gosh, things are harder than I thought they would be. But at least things can't get much worse. Oh, but they can. Later at 5 a.m. Oh no, things got so much worse. They're in both vents. Mangle's in the room. Balloon Boy's in the corner. Oh no. There's no way I'll survive this. What the heck is that thing? Oh wait, I didn't even see Shadow Bonnie in there. 
Shadow Bonnie's there. Golden Freddy's head is there. Oh my god. 6 a.m. Yes! I did it! I survived all five nights at Freddy's! Great job, Jeremy. You did it. So, will I get paid now? Yep, you've earned it. $100. $100.50. Sorry, my bad. That's, uh... Also, I like how that's cut out of here. <laughs> he didn't just hand him a check. He handed him, like, a PNG, like, cut out <laughs> from something. Uh, listen, boss, I'm not sure if I want to come back for another week. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. You've heard about those missing children, right? Yeah? Well, there was an investigation recently, and, uh, we're gonna have to close this place down. But, uh, it should only be for a few days, but, uh, alright. Well, I've had a very memorable experience working here, which I probably will never forget and will have nightmares for for the rest of my life. But I guess I better get going. Bye! Oh, wait. There's one more thing. We're gonna have the final birthday party tomorrow, and I was wondering if you could watch over it. As in, be the day guard for a party? Well, yeah, just for one party. And then, when it's done, you'll get a bonus paycheck of $10. So what do you say? No, absolute. Alright, I'll do it. But as soon as this party's done, I won't be coming back here ever again. The next day at the party. Well, here I am, here again. I guess I better just get it over with. Hey, Jeremy, glad you couldn't make it. Hi. You know, I wasn't really sure if you would show up, but uh, anyway. If this is a party, where's all the kids? Follow me. Here we are. Oh no, not that thing. Well, I'll leave it to you. Good luck. Why did I agree to this? Right, remember, this is for a bonus check, and then once this is done, I'll never come back. Everything so far so good a couple hours later. Everything's still good. Everyone's hanging out. It's been hours. How much longer will this party go on for? Uh-oh. Jeremy, pay attention. Jeremy, pay attention! Ah! Oh, wow. It bit him in the head. It bit his frontal lobe. Oh, it bit his brain off. Uh, that is pretty insane. That is an insane image right there. It literally bit his brain off. What in the world? Look at all the kids are like, uh, what happened? How could it do this to him? What in the world is this? This is crazy. How can Mangle do something so violent? How can Mangle do this? Oh no. How's it going in here? Jeremy! Someone call an ambulance now! Later. Do you think he's gonna be okay? No. He got his whole brain bitten off. This was another accident in just one week. We're gonna ask that you close down for good. Uh, but, but... You heard him. This place is full of risk and cannot stay open. I'll need to do something about those, too. Scrap them. Uh, listen, officers, I understand the amount of incidents here, but there's got to be another way around this. It's only four children and a man who died and went missing. No big deal, right? Nope. You gotta shut this place down. All right, I, uh, I understand. A week later. I sent the new ones to be scrapped, but what am I gonna do to the old ones? Eh, it doesn't matter. I'll, uh, just scrap them. They're creepy anyway. No, you won't. Henry! To be continued in FNAF Story Game. And then, that is where the story game picks up that we played before. But anyway, everyone, that is the end of Jeremy's story. That is very, very sad. Feels bad for Jeremy. He just wanted his $100. That's all he wanted. He didn't want all of this stuff to happen. He didn't want to get bit in his brain. But alas, what are you going to do? You know, what can you do? But anyway, everyone, that is the end. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to check out the other videos in this series. 
and make sure you leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe, use star code Gallant and all that other good stuff. And I will see you next time in the next video, probably tomorrow. But until then, bye.